Adams here. So this video is going to be a review slash demo about the Faber-Castell um, Graphite Aquarelle Water Soluble Pencil because I was going to use those and I realized that I haven't talked about them at all. So I guess it's about time. And so basically uh, those are water soluble graphite pencil and um, yeah, I guess it makes sense to just label them like that. They are basically like graphite pencil, but you can blend and dilute them with water. So they are water soluble. And I believe that they are made mainly for sketching or like little studies. But also I think it's quite interesting to have those as like an under painting type of sketch or something like that. Because I've used them before in my Atlantis artwork. And I think, I don't know if you can really tell on the video. But um, I have sketched on the paper and then I went straight with like a water brush like this one and I blended everything and it made the lines disappear and the sketch disappeared and then I was able to lay my colors on top without having to line my work with like a type of waterproof liner like this. So this is something that I really really enjoy because I'm not a fan really of actual line art on a watercolor drawing because sometimes I kind of want to you know, just blend everything. And so I either do a very fine line or I try to not have any line art. And that's where those come quite handy because you can sketch, do everything really precisely, and then you can, with water, kind of blend it completely with the actual watercolors that you're gonna put on top. So I think they're pretty nice. And so I didn't want to get a whole range because they're quite pricey. I think I paid about a tiny bit more than a polychromo, I think it was about $2, uh, but I'm not sure, but something like that for a pencil, uh, which is quite expensive for a graphite pencil, but I also didn't have to buy a whole range because the way they are made, they're water like soluble, so I can just keep laying colors on top of each other and it will get darker and darker, so I don't need as big of a range, so that's why I got just three. Uh, HB, 4B, and 8B. So your HB is just the basic one, and this one is my favorite to sketch because um, you can literally almost erase the the pencil lines because this is still light. Then when I had water on top, it disappears. So it's pretty cool for the basic sketch. And then those two are a little bit more harder to erase, but I guess it depends on the paper too. But I think that with those pencils, you kind of have to be really light on the touch. It's better to just gradually add more than just go like straight into the paper. I don't know exactly how dark I can get with those. I haven't used them really on their own. I've just used the HB one for a basic sketch. And so that's why I wanted to do a demo. And basically, yeah, that is the plan for today. Um, I probably will just use those free and see if I want to color anything on top and as paper I'm gonna use this new pad that I got uh, this morning um, I said on Twitter that I wanted to stop buying art supplies but um, <laughs> I guess it didn't last very long I want to stop getting art supplies because I want to get a Cintiq and uh, it's a Wacom tablet and it's super expensive so um, I'm trying to save up, so I think I'm gonna slow down and stuff. So this is the last pad that I got because I wanted something quite simple and like multimedia type of paper that I can just like do little like studies with watercolors. But yeah, this is actually able to be for pastel, color pencil, charcoal, ink, and gouache. So if it works for gouache, it should be okay for watercolors. So that's about it for like this little like intro mini review for those. And what I'm gonna do now is basically start working and make a little artwork. So yeah, enjoy. So basically I started by sketching like I will normally do with any pencil. And um, I realized a couple of things. So um, I've used the HB pencil for the sketch and I realized that, I don't know, but I think most artists notice that is when you sketch with pencils, um, your hand tends to smudge the drawing quite easily. And I don't know if it's because of the paper, but I don't think it is. I think it's a pretty basic drawing paper. But um, as I was working, I usually try to work from left to right so I don't really smudge anything. But I was coming back to the left side after and I realized that I wasn't smudging anything. Um, it is, I think, a specific type of graphite 
and you can't actually uh, blend it with regular like tissue paper or anything. You can't really smudge it. You can only do it with water. And I think that's actually pretty cool because I hate when my sketches are super dirty and everything because I smudge it with my hand and my arm. So that was a really nice feature of this pencil is that it doesn't smudge. It is like slightly, like a little bit, but nothing crazy. You can't really notice it, so it's pretty cool. So I did my basic sketch. Um, I've used the reference just for the basic pose, but um, I didn't really like the face, so I changed it. And then I've used also a reference work for the peonies, the flowers behind her. And I was like, you know what, like no basic girl, and let's just do an elf because why not? And so that's what I did. And uh, after my basic sketch, I um, picked the um, 8B pencil. I don't really, I haven't really used the, the 4B because I just, I went straight for like making contrast so I can really get like something darker. And then I was using, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do create contrast and then use the pencil, like the aqua brush, to connect the dark with the light <laughs> and so that's basically what I did. Um, I did a second pass where like, I basically just shade everything, had in some contrast, create the shadows, but like more like of a, yeah, of a very contrasted type of like artwork. But that's kind of weird to, to do, but I have kind of like to understand your light source to do this type of like, like our shadows. But um, yeah, that was my plan, so that's what I did. And then I uh, grabbed my water brush and I basically it's like, I guess, smudge with the water everywhere. And um, usually I find it quite hard on the face to shade the skin and everything. And I was wondering if it will do that with the pencil too. And it did, what I didn't really like is that it's kind of hard to do a very smooth gradient on the cheek. Uh, this is something I don't really like. I don't know how to do really, <laughs> even with like if watercolors and all. Um, I can do it with Copic markers, but I'm still not sh like the best for shading like the cheeks, basically, and the jaw and the jawline and everything with watercolors. But I will like figure this out. So yeah, it is it is reacting pretty much as watercolors, except that um, I sense a little bit of a powdery feeling when you work on the dark parts. So yeah, that's basically like my like little, not a complaint, it's just a feature that you may like, that I noticed. But overall, like that was really nice. Um, I really, really like the finished like tone drawing. I would probably um, like maybe use a bit more darks and all. And then I wanted to try to put watercolor on top to see how it will look like. And I probably shouldn't have, it doesn't look bad, but the paper really, uh-uh, no. <laughs> uh, this is okay for a tone type of like watercolor type of drawing. Maybe you, if you ink like a drawing or something, but not for an actual like watercolor, like painting or whatever. It would probably look better uh, on a watercolor pad, like an actual watercolor paper, if I was taking a lot of time and like gradually shading and everything, that could be nice, uh, like I need for my Atlantis artwork. But then I will use the water soluble pencil as a sketch and like as a base mainly, and not trying to let it like be like basically I will hide it. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't like do a tone drawing first. But um, for this type of like sketchy type of artwork, I, it, it actually works. It's it's working. But I think I still prefer just the pencil alone. And uh, I really really want to work more on those. Um, I spent about an hour on this artwork, so I think I can do something pretty cool if I like spend as much time as I usually spend on my artwork, like maybe three hours or something. And so yeah, I'll definitely make more, but not in this watercolor like um, not in watercolor, not in this like on this paper. Um, probably more on the actual watercolor paper because I think it will look really nice. But uh, yeah, um, that's about it. So I hope that you enjoy this little video and review. 
and if you can't um, find this tool like just give it a go because it's a pretty interesting thing uh, just for like sketching and all it's, it's pretty interesting to have it and um, I will definitely make more of those artworks and so what else yeah if you're interested um, I actually have put the original sketch in my shop um, in my actual sketch like original sketch collection and uh, no prints because it's just a basic type of like sketch colored sketch so no prints for that but yeah I think it is pretty much it for this video so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one bye bye guys